What up, y'all? It's the SMT. Uh, came back to test this to see if the CBRS was on. Uh, I've tested this site a couple of times. I tested it before the upgrade and before the C-band got turned on. I've tested the C-band. The CBRS wasn't on. Uh, the best shot I can give you right here on the iPhone is this zoom. Uh, so if you could see the tiny antenna, kind of like sandwiched in the middle, that's the Band 48 CBRS. And to the left is the N77 C-band. That's a Verizon at the top, and then that's Dish right below it. Uh, what I want to do is I want to see if the CBRS is on because when I was here to test the C-band, uh, it wasn't. So I want to see if maybe Verizon got that on air, got the radio working or whatever the problem was. But the C-band was a go and the CBRS was not a go. And it looks like they are, they are there. <laughs> uh, the LTE upper right hand corner for Verizon. Uh, they've got 30 megahertz of uh, licensed CBRS here. So it would be uh, 20 and 10, they're 10 megahertz blocks. And then sometimes we see more, uh, they'll be using the unlicensed variation as well. Uh, 52 ping, six millisecond jitter, 391 down, 11 up. And um, to show you guys that it is indeed CBRS, I'll probably have to show you guys on the pixel. Uh, so let's go ahead and run that test. Get my fingerprint scanned in. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Yeah, and it's picking it up too. Uh, but it was better on the iPhone, I think. 391 down, 11 up. I wonder if it's doing anything better with carrier aggregation. Probably. Still pretty good. Uh, 44 ping. 6 jitter. 274 down. And the uplink is not good. It's not even working. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Let's check the bands real quick. Uh, let's go to Signal Check Pro. We'll unpause that. All right, so you'll see we are connected to LTE 850. So that's going to be your low band anchor. Uh, but it's not indicating. Up oh, there we go. All right, so we got 10 megahertz of the band 5, 20 megahertz of AWS, and then it looks like 40 megahertz of CBRS. Uh, they only have 5 megahertz of PCS here, so band 2, that, that it's not connected. Uh, so we got 20 megahertz PALS, no, 30 megahertz PALS, and then 10 megahertz of unlicensed going on here, at least on the Pixel. And I think what's happening is the iPhone is doing more. I think it's getting the additional bandwidth. Why this is configured like this, different between the two phones, I have no idea. That's weird and unusual. Maybe I'll airplane mode the Pixel and see if that changes. Uh, here's the iPhone again. Yep, we're pushing the 400 meg mark on the downlink. 50 ping. The ping's not good. Not not very good at all. Uplink's nice. 8, eight millisecond jitter. So 393 down and we're at about 59, 60 megabits on the uplink. wonder what's happening with the pixel there. I'll go ahead and um, uh, I'm going to airplane mode that and see if that makes a difference. Let's see. Okay, so comparatively between the iPhone and the pixel. No, it doesn't look like it changes much. Something tells me there's at least an additional 20 or 30 megahertz of CBRS on this iPhone. So maybe that's important to you. Maybe you're in a market that has a lot of CBRS. That might matter to get the extra throughput. 277 down. The uplink's not even going. So something's definitely wrong. Whatever configuration on the Pixel is not, not good here. No idea what's happening. Uh, pixel problems, possibly. <laughs> See, error. It's weird uh let's go ahead and do the what's it called let's do let's do the 5g here so pro tip battery saver puts you an lte take it off battery saver you get 5g all right there we go let's test the pixel for the n77 c band see how that's doing next i'll get the iphone in 5g too let's put it into 5g should start picking up the ultra wide band there. All right, so for the Pixel, 32 ping, two millisecond jitter, 357 down, 49 megabits up. All right, let's go ahead and run the Pixel, or the, excuse me, the iPhone 13 Pro. Should be getting ultra wide band, it's not picking it up. Let's see it. 
Oh, there we go. Just late to kick in, I suppose. All right, so on the Pixel, we had 357 down and 49 up. And, wow, the iPhone doing much more with the uplink. Huh. Pixel not doing well here on this site. 425 down, 99.7 up. Pretty nice hit in the century mark. 48 ping, 8 second jitter, 8 millisecond jitter. Interesting. Hmm. Try the pixel again. Keep sliding. And then we'll do the iPhone one more time. Seventeen. All right, so that's more comparable to the iPhone. The uplink is it? I think we're losing some carry aggregation on the uplink there, on the Pixel for whatever reason. All right, thirty-five ping, four jitter, four thirty-nine down, forty-five up. Okay, and then iPhone just in case. All right, the ping's dropping at least. Weird. The site's pretty good too. I can pick this up from a couple of miles. It's a really tall site. It's got to be at least 200 feet tall. Maybe 175. It's it's way up there, isn't it? Yeah. 355 down, 84 up. All right. So this one, the Pixel had the downlink, and the iPhone had the uplink. 355 down, 84 up. 31 ping, four millisecond jitter. Let me know what you guys think of the testing. Let me know what you think of the 5G, the NR, the N77 C-band. And the CBRS finally getting turned on, but the Pixel not doing well with the C, uh, CBRS at all. Uh, that was weird and unusual. You guys seeing similar results? Or are you seeing different stuff? Comment down below. You know the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard. Like, share, subscribe for more, and turn on the bell notification icon to never miss an upload. Links in the description. My Gmail address for business inquiries. Uh, my Patreon page and my Twitter handle. They're all there. Thanks for watching. See you all in the next one. Peace.